So today we are rocking a spiralized zucchini salad. Now, if you have never used a spiralizer before, they are awesome. I personally like to use them with zucchini, carrots, or sweet potato, and use them in place of noodles, which is really great in pasta dishes, or just something warm, kind of a warm noodle bowl at the end of the day. But they also make salads look really, really fancy, is basically my take on them. So my spiralizer, I think, is about nine years old. So it is one of the older models, but it still works really, really well. There are different settings that you can put in based on your noodle length, but I tend to keep it fairly simple. The salad we're making today is also simple. So loaded with vegetables, some healthy fats, and some bright colors. You, this salad isn't topped with the protein, but you can obviously add a protein to it. Personally, I really like it with some grilled chicken or even a hard-boiled egg. If you are vegan, hemp hearts, some sesame tofu would be really, really great also. It is a raw salad. So, this may be new to you if you're not used to eating raw zucchini. It can be rather delicious. So basic ingredients, we are going to start off by spiralizing the carrot and the zucchini to kind of get our base. Now we do have to peel the carrot for this, so you can just quickly peel that and get rid of it. And the zucchini you actually need intact. I will be the first to admit that this kind of carrot is rather difficult, so I would have loved a little bit of a larger carrot, but we were out. And so we're making do with what we got. So normally with a bigger carrot, it's easier because you can push a little bit easier. So notice how this one is a little bit lean. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut it in half and see if that makes it a little bit better so you can get the idea. So you push it and then you're just pushing in to it and it's going to spiralize out as little carrot noodles. So we just keep going here. And now for the recipe, the recipe is going to make a one large salad or two small salads worth. Just depends on kind of how much you're looking at eating here. So we'll get all the carrot noodles going. And sometimes you do have to stop and readjust and pull the spirals out and just kind of restart because it does... Uh, it does get a bit jammed sometimes. So finish off spiralizing your carrot. Awesome. Okay, push that out. And then I'm just going to throw this all in one bowl here instead of keeping a mess. So we have our carrots on the bottom and then we take our zucchini. So same thing, we want to cut the ends off because we want to be able to lock it into the spiralizer there. And we just want to press it into one end and push the other into it in this nice soft turn. So the zucchini tends to spiralize, if you can see, a lot easier than the carrot. So we're going to do half the zucchini and just make one salad. So nice and quick. All right. So I'm going to grab all of these here and toss them in. Now, what I like to do, because zucchini is water-based, is I'm actually going to whip out my dressing, put it on, and let that sit for a couple of minutes to kind of absorb. So I'm going to push this all to the side here. We'll grab our bowl. For the dressing, very, very simple. We are just going with an olive oil balsamic dressing. Sometimes I do add a little bit of maple syrup if I'm, I'm, I'm looking for something a little bit sweeter. But really nothing fancy. So for the dressing, you are going to want... One and a half tablespoons. Where's my cup? There we go. So about one and a half tablespoons of oil. And then two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. And that's going to be enough dressing for two to three salads, to be honest, depending on how much you like. If you are going to add maple syrup, you're going to add in half a tablespoon there. But we are just going to whisk this up and pour it over. Good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here. Perfect. And just kind of let that sit for a couple of minutes to absorb while we get our pecans in the oven. So the first thing we're going to do is make the candied pecans. Candied pecans are tasty. They're freakishly addictive because they're pecans covered in maple syrup. But they also make really great salad toppers. I do bring them if I'm super short on time to parties as a mini snack, that kind of thing. But they're kind of great just to have on hand. 
if you want to add a little bit extra crunch for something. So very, very simple ingredients. We need some pecans, maple syrup, oil, and sea salt. So you're going to put one cup of pecans into your dish, and then you are going to take half a tablespoon of oil. And I'm using avocado oil here just because they are going into the oven. You're going to drizzle that all over the pecans. And then you're going to take a tablespoon of maple syrup, pour that over top also, and just about an eighth of a teaspoon to a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. I normally do a quarter or an eighth just because I don't like too, too much, but it adds a nice flavor. And you're just going to shake those up until they're all covered. They're already looking pretty delicious. And take a baking tray. Line it with some tin foil or parchment paper, kind of whatever you have. Pour the pecans on. Get all the sticky maple syrup because it's tasty. And just make sure that they're laying flat. Now I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees, which is what you needed at. And we're just going to pop those in, cook them for about eight minutes. The maple syrup is going to start to get sticky and kind of candy. You want to take them out between eight and ten minutes and then let them sit to cool. So we're going to throw those in. And we are just going to set a timer for eight minutes and let them cook. All right, so we are just going to let our pecans cool over here while we finish up the rest of our salad. Now, ooh, still toasting there. Move that closer. All right, the rest of the salad, again, fairly simple. What we want to do is add some color. So I do like to add cherry tomatoes when I have them. Per salad, I normally like to do a cup for two, so half a cup of cherry tomatoes would be amazing. We're going to add some strawberries today. So three strawberries for one salad, or six for two, would be a really great start. So we're going to slice the top off there. And the reason I like adding berries is actually just for the color. I think salads are just better when they are colorful and not bland. So chopping those up, we can sprinkle those onto our salad. And next is going to come the crunch. So I'm going to use some chickpeas. Now you can use raw chickpeas in these, or uncooked or canned. I'm going to go for roasted because I like the additional crunch and because I had some on hand. It's completely to you. The salad tastes great both ways. So about two-thirds of a cup for each, um, two-thirds of a cup in total. So I'm just going to do half of this here and get a nice little crunch in my salad. Perfect. Next up, we are going to add the candy pecan. So these should be cool, but now they're going to be super sticky, which is really, really delicious. And now I personally think in one cup split into half a cup is a lot per person in a salad. So I actually just like to grab a couple, maybe an eighth or a quarter of a cup and toss those in there for some extra crunch. And then lastly, we are going to top our salad with some avocado. So careful when you are cutting your avocado, splitting it down. Good. And then just rolling around here. I like to slice mine in it. And then I just kind of top it on the top there. So there you have it. A really simple spiralized zucchini salad. It's light, it's refreshing, it's perfect for summertime, warm nights, or just lazy nights where you don't really want to cook. And it's just something different that most people aren't used to. So enjoy. The candy pecans really give that added crunch.